Yeah, welcome to Splatcast. So, um, it is, uh... What team am I gonna... It is March 9th. Uh... has got a book. The day after, um, a big Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Um, Ow. which had some interesting stuff in it, and we might touch on that a stuff. A couple. We might touch on that stuff later, but two big things that came out were a huge announcement for Splatoon 2 in the form of a paid... DLC uh, story uh, story edition, hmm. and the announcement of a new Smash Brothers with playable Inklings. Yeah. So we f- th- uh, we thought we'd get together and like actually like sit down and like try to talk some of this out and speculate some stuff. Yeah. Um. Maybe talk about some of the other stuff they announced too, if we like maybe at the tail end, but. Uh, so yeah, I guess let's just get started. So, um... I mean, any, like... Because we talked about, like, I think, uh, there's one more thing, is that, uh... Uh, aside from the paid DLC, there is gonna be another big, uh, cosmetic overhaul for Splatoon. Yeah, like, they did announce that there were gonna be, like, another hundred, like, or so, uh... Cosmetics brought in. They also announced a new, uh... Uh... Ranked mode ranking in the form of rank X, which yeah. goes after X, uh, S plus. We don't know exactly what that means yet. They haven't really gone into explanation. Which one did you pick? I mean, you eggs. Pe- eggs. Because even though like chickens evolved from dinosaurs, they, dinosaurs still lay eggs. So, if I'm gonna be honest, so I'll it probably... had to come out of the egg first, right? Yeah. So as stupid as that sounds, but that's what I'm choosing because honestly, I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. And I like eggs more than chickens. <laughs> I'm just excited for the uh, white ink. It will be interesting. It'll be a nice different color. Give me my main, you but, coward. Um, oh, I'm too. Which, uh, by the way, you guys are going to be seeing that episode come out uh, a oh, couple oops. months from now. <laughs> oh, of this Splatfest, no, me. So you're staying in my arms. Uh, but but yeah, cosmetic overhaul. Um, along with, uh, Callie, who might, she, I'm not sure if she's going to be involved with the Octo expansion or if she's just going to show up it after you meet requirements. It would surprise me. Well, they specifically showed her, they specifically <laughs> showed, yeah, so they, they said that after completing certain requirements, Callie will show up in the Octo Canyon, which is the, which is the location for the original story mode. Mm-hmm. Um, which we've already completed in our series. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you can watch that here. So mm-hmm. my my guess is is that it might be adding some more like challenge related stuff. Yeah. Uh, for after you beat the uh, the main campaign on there, because it shows her sitting in there and she's in casual clothes, which she looks freaking adorable. Oh yeah, right she, it's um. It's pretty cute. What is it? I think uh, I don't Kinda know like, if we it have like it. It's like her spy outfit, but without the mask. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. no, she has um. It's the uh, outfit from her page in the uh, book in this. Uh, when they they have oh, when the, she's like when, when, when she's, she's walking away from the like uh, the mask. interview or something. Or? Yeah, the interview and shit. Oh right, this is a yeah. crime. Hang on, could you uh pull that up real quick? What? Um, I think it's menu. Uh, yeah, scrolls. It's in the sunken scroll. Which one? The next the tab. Scroll. Next tab next over. Okay. I haven't gotten that many. Oh, shit. Yeah, I would be playing it on my, I, on I, my uh, yeah, account. Yeah, I'm like... I forgot this about is, that. I'm a new one. Right. I, I remember I had you get some... Oh. I remember I, had, I set up screen grabs for everything at the end of that, so you should have the footage for that. Cover. Yeah, true. But yeah, it's oh, the outfit from that, essentially. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so yeah, that that looks interesting, but the big thing was the form of the Octo expansion which we touched on which is basically an entire uh campaign focused around playing as an octoling, at least of some sort. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sh- 90% sure like that's pretty Well, they specified that that you're playing... Okay, so the character's name is, like, officially is Agent 8. Um, She's kind of funny. And it's kind of funny. And they said... They specifically worded it as such as that you look like an Octoling. 
And one oh. of the things that oh shit, one of the things that I was uh, that makes me think that it may that may not entirely be the case is a couple things that show up in the trailer. Uh, first off, uh, you get mm-hmm. a look at you get a look at uh, the character's eyes, and the character's eyes are just like inkling eyes. Like Octoling eyes are canonically well, like have a different shaped like pupil. That's the thing is that it's neither. Because mm-hmm. it's because uh, inklings have the mask and like it's like. But no, I'm saying if specifically you don't have the, the mask. shape of like the like of the pupil and stuff like that. Yeah. Is is the uh, is an inkling eye, um. And the other thing of this is that in the trailer montage, I was going back and looking through it. They oh, show shit. this thing of what. Just appe- kicking my ass. Mm-hmm. They show this thing of what appears to be. Like the male and female variant of these playable octolings, like in like what looks like some sort of like stasis chamber where like they're like suspended animation yeah, and f- like a liquid. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, wait, I so, totally like blocked that out. So like, I have a feeling that what it what it might be is that they might be some sort of like crossbreed. What the fuck? Which is like fucking insane. Make coral crossbreed too, okay? So. Uh, babe! I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> I know, I know. I'm Miso's just, like, being a little shit. But, so, like, that's gonna be, like, that's gonna be interesting. And on top of in? that, like, they show, they show off, like, the return, like, they show off the return of Cuddle, of Captain Cuttlefish, and he's, like, dressed out as, like, some sort of, like, hip grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, shit, um, And then, like, they also showed that Pearl and Marina were gonna be involved in mm. this. Which I, it, like, it's like it, literally everything we brought up in, like, our podcast. Yeah. Or our last podcast. Yeah, we wrote it. We wrote much, it. Yeah. Yeah, literally pretty much everything that we wanted seems to be coming here. It's like, it's specifically a lore-based, like, story update. Mm-hmm. Um, Did she despawn? What the fuck? Focusing on the, like, focusing on the Octolings and, their, and what's going on with them. Like, playable, with playable Octolings, with... Uh, Pearl and Marina being involved. No word if Callie and Marie are also involved with this story mode. Mm. I would like to think since Cuttlefish is in there that he they probably will be at least to some degree. Right. But uh, that's the other thing on top of that is that um, and I know you kind of been going through the ringer like saying uh, explaining what's been in the trailer. But another thing that was in the trailer is that there is a shot of uh. I think when the octoling, quote unquote, is exiting the subway, uh, you can see a shot of an inkling girl who's green, but she's wearing the uh, hero gear. She's wearing the old hero gear from Splatoon One, which yeah. is technically in this game. As uh, like it's like amiibo locked. Uh, Why do I feel slow? Uh, I like feel equipment. Really well, you're, you got you're, hit. Yeah, you got no, hit. No, no, you but like armor. just in general, this game feels yeah. really like slowed down, and I don't know why. I don't know, too much Overwatch? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, no, I just... I don't feel comfortable right now with this fucking... <laughs> like, I've already what? discussed this in the fucking... Right, other right. episodes that... I, I... I don't know. No, it's all good. It's all good. But the, um... But yeah, it like it looks it like it definitely has. I've been doing like our attention. Sorry, everyone. I've been doing like commissions like every day for the last like week and a half. Like I'm kind of like. I cabin fevered. Is that the word? Yeah, oh, onion rings. <laughs> onion rings. But like, yeah, the, the uh, oh my God. but I'm, I'm the gameplay footage looks awesome because it looks like to be a slightly more complex version of this story mode, where it's like you know like oh my God. abstract maps with like platforming and challenge based gameplay using the game's mechanics, and it focuses on. Uh, on using a lot of the gameplay mechanics that weren't originally used. Like, they showed the use of the, uh... What is it? The... Is it called... It's not called the bubbler, is it? Like, the hamster ball-looking one? Oh, yeah, no, that's not the bubbler. Yeah, I can't remember I don't what... Know. I can't remember what it's called, but, uh... Uh, the... It's not a roller, either. That's mm. the fucking... But, but like, yeah, no, the they have a, they have a, Yeah, they have a level that, that seems to be focused around using uh, that... Uh, and like navigating a course with that, or, or they have fuckaroni. Why have you closed your doors? <laughs> <laughs> or they have like, yeah, or they have like another one that like is focused around on I'm using making... the uh, the inkjet, like the the rocket pack. And, right. And they even show like a uh, like they have these weird like 
like they look like almost like irradiated like octoling uh, enemies. Like they're like bright neon green with like oh, yeah. bright like red eyes. Yeah. And well, like they showed one using an inkjet like to chase you down. And it, by to be quite honest, if I can't tell if it's part of like the terrain being revealed or if the jet or if the weapon she is using is spawning trees. Yeah, that was <laughs> fucking bizarre as shit. Like I can't tell I haven't I mean I was like half asleep when I mm-hmm. saw this thing. So I won I I need to like rewatch the cuz everything you're saying I'm like, "What?" Wow. Oh yeah, no, nah, it was like Yeah, it was it- what I'm guessing is it's like, uh, you know how when you uh, shoot the ink sometimes, like enemy ink, like a box will appear? Mm-hmm. I'm guessing it, like, that's how it operates, is any, like, enemy ink. Yeah, and there might be hiding, mixed. like, hidden terrain that can be used to protect yourself. Yeah. That's that's a top, entirely a possibility. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, they showed that off. Uh, they also announced a few new, like, regular multiplayer stages. Oh. Um... One of them was, uh, one of them's Camp Triggerfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we get to go back to camp. And then, um, uh, camp, 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 camp. There, there camp, was camp. another one that they brought back from Splatoon 1, but it was, like, after we, like, kind of stopped doing a lot of, like, Splatoon stuff. Stop! So oh, they stop! brought back a cup dome, I think. Well, yeah, no, they brought back a lot of stuff, but mm-hmm. no, I mean, like, they announced, uh... They announced Camp Triggerfish. They announced a announced new place. One, yeah, they announced was, two new stages. No, no, no. The first one was from Splatoon One. Was but it? it? Yeah, it was one of the later no, stages it, that it was we like, didn't cover. No, it was like a bar. Like it was like a. Oh, I'm starting to get the hang of it again. It was like something about like a place that like you can go do barbecuing and stuff like that. I can't remember. The, let me see if I can pull it up in my Bye. phone. It is definitely not a place that I recognize from Splatoon 1. No, yeah, I, I could swear to you that it's one of the, like, later stages that they, like, dropped. And now we, we're all looking it up, but, like... I mean, I'm gonna look it up right now just to make sure. Yeah, especially Allie, who's currently playing right now. That's yeah. true. Uh, I'm should, gonna... You should see her. She's, like, operating on phone with her feet right now. It's, it's amazing. It's crazy. <laughs> She's got... She's got the Joy-Cons on both sides of her phone, and so she's using that. That's true. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to bring up the... Uh, I might just do that. Uh, I might just I, I've got an article Maybe. right here. Well, so. I'm going to bring up the Here, hold trailer. on. I think that's what I need. Uh, Piranha Pit. Yeah, that's from the original one. There Is we it? go. Yeah. That feels right. This feels right. I don't know why it feels yeah, right. Let me, uh... Yeah. It feels right. So 3.0, I'm, new I'm gear. without the controller right now, so I'm just, like, roguing it up. I do not remember a Piranha Pit in Splatoon. Yeah, 1. no, I, I, I do. I'm telling you, man, it's like it's one of the later maps that we didn't cover. I remember. Yeah, uh, it's not Piranha good. Pit, and I remember because what was it? I think it was um when I was uh, recording footage for like like I went back into Splatoon One to get footage for the finale, mm-hmm. and I remember seeing Piranha Pit, and I was like, I have no idea where the fuck this place is. And that's all I remember it as. It's like the one place that yep, I. Yep, just... you're right. It came okay, so that's why we didn't we never covered. It came out right at like the end of like the DLC. Yeah, like right at the like right in the middle of December. Oh yeah, no, it was it was at the very end. Give me. But so, yeah, that explains give me your a secrets. lot. So give me your truth. yeah, no, apparently it was one of the really big one. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. This thing. So, here's my fucking review on using only the joysticks for this game. It keeps shit locking the camera in weird fucking Oh, yeah, because it's using the, you're using the gyroscope. Like, it's not, like, this game is not really, unless you turn, like, the gyroscope controls off, this game is not meant to be used with, like, the Joy-Cons individually in each hand. Mm. Like, it's just not. I think it's, um, <laughs> what is it? I think it's, uh, tied to the right Joy-Con, by the way, just for future reference. But the oh, that's uh, what I use. Okay, so there are no, two no, no. returning stages. My my bad there. But the uh, other one, there is a new one that's like a an amusement park, which is honestly it was something I'm shocked we haven't gotten before. Yeah. Uh, it's called Wahoo World, and I'm incredibly disappointed that it is not called Woomy World instead. Yeah, that would have been cute. It would have been. Really wasn't it named after the movie? Waterworld? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's it was Wahoo. Yeah, because it like oh. it doesn't it doesn't have any sort of aesthetic to that. It's just like Rip. it's just a straight up like. Uh, it's a nice. It's a really cute. It honestly park. looks more like Coney Island more than anything else. I miss like, Coney Island. 
Like just that beachfront amusement park. It's a good game. Um, but yeah, they had that, and like I said, they had new, like, a bunch of new clothing items. That, like, there looked to be some returning stuff, like Allie's favorite, like, the, just the good old-fashioned classic gas mask. Like, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Why did we have to wait two DLCs for that shit? Excuse me. <gasps> Here hey! we are at 3.0, fucking, finally. Get him. The gas mask is back in style. But, yeah, so, like, that looks interesting. Like, it looks, like, I'm definitely super stoked about the story Finally. mode. Finally. Like, the story, like, the story mode, like, the, so, to be, just to clarify, the, the only thing that is paid DLC is the story mode campaign, which does allow you, at the end of, com after completing it, allows you to play as Octolings in regular multiplayer. Which, if I can say, is actually Worth it. pretty, yeah. Because, like, it, it is, uh, you know, you're essentially getting another story mode, and also you're getting, like, this the whole best new cosmetic fucking cosmetic, thing. Yeah. yeah. And but not only that, it's like, what is it? It's like 20 bucks. It's only 20 bucks. Like, that's which, true, which is, like, less than, like, every freaking DLC. That's like two Undertales. Mm -hmm. That's two Undertales. <laughs> oh, shit! Baby face, no! <laughs> but, oh, yeah, my God. The, uh, <laughs> It, it, like it, that doesn't really seem too bad, and like considering that like Come back. there have been like Come back. there have been like similar things. Like I'm trying to think, like Skyrim's DLC like was like 30 bucks. Was, was like like particularly like the thing the closest thing I can think of that like was close to that was like the Hearthfire expansion, which didn't really add very many story elements. You're right. Um, but, like, it was costed about the same price. It was, like, Come about, back. like, 15, 20 bucks. No, yeah. Dude, oh, it's like, not I like remember, before. <laughs> I remember, like, fucking... Where there are I? plenty of times where I've been screwed over by DLC shit. Yeah, so, like, it, like... Fallout 4 is, like, the fucking king of that. I'm, mm. I love Fallout 4 to death, but, man, like, could half of their fucking mm -hmm. shit have been in one giant pack? Well, yeah, like, the, like, 20 bucks for, like... I think they said that, if I remember hearing that, there's... 80 levels in this yeah, in this next story like in this next story mode which I don't know Hell no. I'm trying to think here there there are what there are how many zones in this in this game in this story uh, mode six there, six are there five or six five zones? there's five that's five more than Furry with, Let's see. with ten levels each right that's more than Furry uh, Let's see. It no, it's it's uh I believe it's six For I believe the bucks? first level has three and then every other one has six and then they each have their own boss okay so like it's it's definitely less than eighty. So like yeah. oh yeah. So like you're getting like a bigger story like a bigger story campaign with more stuff going on. Like plus like <laughs> the added option for playing something in multiplayer, like so like there is no, right. like, uh, there is an end reward with it. It's not just like, you know, like a, a glorified challenge pack. Which is what I want anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't really but, and on top of that, they also, like, they didn't really announce this Excuse in the me. direct, but they did announce that the, uh... Excuse me. Oh, that the, the Pearl and Marina Amiibo 2-pack is coming out in July, which makes me think that if that's the case, with the fact that they're tied to this, uh, to this story mode in some way... Baby face now. I wouldn't be shocked if that is around the same time that this expansion is going to come out, because they said... Uh, well, not no. Actually, I think they said that. Now that I think about it, they said that that was coming out late April with everything else. Didn't really? They? I thought they said summer. Did they, like early summer? Let me check. That's what Did the trailer me... fucking said. Ow. Um, I'm looking through the trailer now, so that's why. Um, um Octo to... expansion. Might have to just go in there. Oh, it just fucking. Oh, it's not even. Hang on. Okay, dude. How uh, was it? Octo expansion. Oh, regretty, 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 regretty the spaghetti. Late April is the the uh, time regretty. for the, the stages. Come back. Um, Come back. Oh shit! I didn't notice before, but um. I don't know, a, a nice analysis point, um, once we're done with this, is, uh... Oh my god. Something... Oh my god! Oh my god. 
so hard. Do, do, so, do, 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 oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so late. Okay, so late April, and then they said uh, July for the amiibos. July is for the the off the hook amiibos. Yes. Okay. Then yeah, I'm gonna guess that's gonna be around the same time. Like, do um, they have an announcement for the? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's 2018. It's not taking any money. Well, no, no. I thought like I, I could have sworn they had something on there. I'm sure they do. I'm, I'm not. I'm looking right now. So, like, and I'm sure like there's a possibility that he like may have said it or something like that. But I'm not playing the sound, so I'm not gonna know. I'm checking. Hold on. But uh, yeah, no. An interesting uh, thing while you check what? is that uh. I just noticed in the trailer, uh, there's the scene where, uh, the Octoling is, like, walking through the subway next to, like, all the, like, deep sea creatures. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really notice that there is a parallel of, like, uh, that's when, uh, the next scene is she's surrounded by all the Octoling, yeah. or, like, the, the enemy Octarian, like, Octolings, and, like... They're all in, like, the same spot as the deep, like, deep sea creatures that were once there before. Oh, wait. So I'm curious if that's got, like, some kind of, I don't fucking know, meaning There's to it. some sort of deeper meaning to yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. Like, shit, man. Enemy oct <laughs> octolings are now, uh, just deep sea creatures, I guess. Personified. I'm checking right now to see if they have a... An announcement, like a release, like even a release window of some sort. Right. Like if I'm gonna take, like venture, I guess it'd be around that same time. But I didn't know if they had it tied to late April along with like everything else other stuff. Yeah. But. Meow. <laughs> so I'm checking right now. It's probably they so pissed that you did. Oh, yeah. I almost got a content ID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it just says summer 2018, so yeah. if that would be my guess, then I right. would say that July would probably be a good time frame for that. Yeah. Yeah, I because hope now. That's so far. It's not nearly as far as you think. It feels like it. Kelly will be in college. Right? But they, um... So, yeah, I would say that like, those would probably come out simultaneously. Right. Uh. Um... So the other thing that, I, that we had that that happened that kind I mean, of blew everybody's mind <laughs> was the Smash Brothers announcement. It was yeah. kind of funny how much people cared about that. Oh, uh, and like it's it has gone like I thought it was funny because of the fucking the trailer movie. was like the trailer was was simultaneously awesome and hilarious. Oh yeah, because the so like it showed like it actually uh, somebody pointed out the fact that like the 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 reveal for the Inklings was actually like a almost like a reference to the original like Splatoon to, reveal trailer. Yeah, I was gonna say it looked super similar to like the original yeah, like. Hey, are we? What are we? Oh, yeah. it's showing the Inkling girl like running around and she's like fighting off like an Inkling boy who's got like the blue ink and they're these are their Splatoon one variants, which I think makes yeah. sense because they're probably. Like, while Splatoon 2's, like, character models are cool, they're probably the most iconic identifiers of an Inkling. Oh, yeah, and I don't doubt, like, like, they could be... like, you know Red is still, like, the Pokemon. The Pokemon, has. yeah. Mm. Well, so, that's why, like, Red was the character design for when he w uh, when the Pokemon trainer was around. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, like... Well, yeah. I think that makes sense, but, like, it shows them fighting around and everything like that, and, like, an empty white, like, just a void... So that way all the colors really pop and stand out. And then as yeah. they're fighting, then all of a sudden it gets dark, and oh, the, uh... Oh, Uh, and the Inkling girl turns around, there's, like, something, like, glowing behind her, and, like, it zooms on her eye, and there's just this freaking flaming, like, Eye of Sauron smash logo. <laughs> we learned in the sands air. from Undertale. <laughs> um, and, then, <laughs> and so, like, then it shows the, uh... Like, it shows a bunch of these characters, like, standing in front of this giant burning Smash logo, like, in silhouette. Um, which is interesting, because, like, they zoom in particularly on Mario, which is easy enough to identify. Um, but then they also uh, zoom in on what appears to be Link, 
but in his Breath of the Wild uh, appearance. Yeah. Um... And, like, there are other silhouettes, like, they zoom out and there are other silhouettes, too. Like, there's definitely, like, something that's, like, identifiable as, like, Donkey Kong and Bowser. Um, Sans. Mm. <laughs> of, but, like, yeah, a lot of them are in, like, silhouettes. There's definitely one that's, like, Samus. Um, but, like, a lot of the other ones that are very, like, because they're all sitting close Protected. to one another, they're very, like, amorphous and hard to, like, determine. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people have been speculating, but... The big question is now is that whether or not this is a port or a new game. Um, because a lot of things can point to either, like, to either way. Mm -hmm. Because, like, they didn't, like, first off, they didn't come out of their way and specifically state that it was a new game. So it's perfectly logical to assume that it's just an enhanced port. Well, yeah, no, it's, um, I feel like there's uh, three things, which are... Maybe not a port, more like a a, a remaster kind well, of. Like yeah, I'm saying, an enhanced port. Yeah, like they did with like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or um, or even like the the Hyrule Warriors like uh, definitive edition that's getting ready to come out that has like, all of the stuff together. Yeah. Um. Like I think. <laughs> Bruce. Like they Bruce. well like they, they pointed like point like some people pointed out that like oh, the. In my game. Yeah. The the copyright at the end of the trailer specifically states 2018, and it states um, it states Hal Labs as the uh, creator, which Hal Labs has not been the main like production studio to work with Nintendo alongside Smash Brothers since uh, Smash One for the Nintendo 64. Hmm. Um. Because after that, then they made Sora Limited. Which was like a subsidiary company that was like owned by Hal, and it's where like Sakurai basically put his Smash Brothers team. Right. So like that. So that's interesting. Um, and it's like, and if it were, and while it's been debunked that like they don't have to have like the copyright years for the years that Smash Wii U was active on that trailer for it to be a port. Um, it make it's really weird that it's not there. Right. If it were a port. Um, but at the same, like, at the same time, though, like, the logos, while not exactly the same, are similar. Um. Oh, yeah, no, they're more, uh, more similar than other logos have been to each other, mm-hmm. essentially. Like, they're, Aww. yeah, they're very similar to one, Man. like, to one, you can just go back around and try again. <laughs> but, so, like, they've got... <laughs> They've got that going on, but yeah, it just like at the same time that they are different, and well, yeah, and then there's like the question of like Link, like Link is it like they they showed off Link in a completely different appearance mm-hmm. than what he has been in every other Smash Brothers game, right? And not like, only that, but like the the thing is with Link is that there's like two prominent things that I saw in the trailer, and like it was. Uh, a, the fact that it is, like, the Breath of the Wild hairstyle and shit like that. Mm. But B, I think he has a bow on his back? His bow, yeah, well, yeah, his bow's on his back and he, like, Which is, and... Uh, let's be real, Breath of the... Uh, archery was, like, more prominent than Sword Oh, yeah, no, shit, like, like mm. it, uh, archery was, like, very, like, prominent and established with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, like, that were... was, like, his reveal was him, like, shooting the arrow at a guardian. Mm. So, like, that, yeah, that's the weird thing about it is that, um... um but yeah, that's like the thing is that Link, like, if we're talking about Link in general, hey. like, obviously he's not known for his archery, which makes it really interesting that that was like mm-hmm. the prominent thing. They, yeah, they went out of their way to make sure that we knew that this was that this was Breath of the Wild Link, and that could be argued, you know, as them like low key hinting at that like he he's getting a a Breath of the Wild skin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or like, which is fine. Um. But it seems very strange to, you know, to make it so prominent right. for, for a teaser trailer. Um, and so what? Like, I don't know how you missed but that. But somebody, <laughs> also, like, somebody also pointed out, and I, I know who this guy is because I follow him directly. Uh, his name's Artsy Omni. He's like the leader of the Smashify Twitter, which I've talked about before on here and some other places. Uh, he pointed out the fact that the... Uh, the development cycle for um, for Smash uh, 3DS and Wii U 
started right after the finish of Kid Icarus Uprising, hmm. which gave it uh, which gave it a production time of about two and a half years <laughs> uh, before its release. So, given that they started working on this um, shortly, short like shortly after Whoa. finishing up development for Smash Wii U and 3DS, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they could have done it in the same amount of time and still had a few months to like have a break. Oh know? yeah. So it's still like so like the development time or the time between oh, hell yes. the end of development for Smash Wii U and the start of development for a new Smash Brothers game is still well within the window of their ability. Oh right. Um Can I just say how great it is that like Oh no no, no! Can I just say how great it is that ink is like pretty much never ending when you're writing the reels? Mm-hmm. Oh right. That's a, good, that's a good flow decision. That's another thing, and I'll, I'm going to let you finish your thought before bringing this up, but, like, I'm ready to speculate what the fuck the inkling, Inklings are going to do in Smash. That's so. what I was just actually getting ready to come, like, what? what I was getting ready to touch on, <laughs> is because, like, like the, so the Inklings are going to be an interesting uh, thing because, like, they're not melee fighters. Like, they don't use, like, they don't use hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're shooters, anyway. yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all range. So, like, it's going to be interesting to see how they make that work. Like, we kind of probably have a hint at, like, how they're going to function to a point. Because, like, okay. we obviously saw... We obviously saw that one really of the characters didn't... use, like, a splat bomb. Yeah. So, which makes sense. Oh, um, yeah, because splat bomb's, like, one of the more prominent items in the game. Somebody also uh, mentioned the fact that, like, if you notice that in the trailer, like, the, the Inkling girl's, like, ink tank... Actually does actually lose does like ink, yeah uh, as she goes to the trailer so that might be a hint of the fact that like that the character will have like a limited ink supply, um, which is really like we're getting into like weird like fighter meta territory if we're like going with like that complex uh, like I don't want to say like oh that's too complex because that's not it it's at really all. not but like, it's one of those things that's like it is surprisingly complex for a Smash character. Well, to be, the, to be fair, it, this like if they're gonna give them the the ability to put ink on the stage and travel through it in some way, that's mm -hmm. technically kind of already done been done before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in in an indie fighter that was actually mimicking Smash called Rivals of Aether, uh, and I can't remember the character's name, but it's like this whale character that has mm -hmm. like legs right but it had the ability to um this is to basically put these puddles of water on the stage and then you could uh teleport to, through them i forgot how to do the thing Where so like I they could let be me do the what's going on i wanted to do first person um look in here i was zoom i don't, I don't think, think you have first person look in here yeah. yeah wait i do think you have a charger though so if you wanted to oh, change that's... weapons yeah. yeah, there you go. You can, I don't know if that has a skip. Yeah, no, that doesn't have a scope. Though. I'm sorry. Oh, no! Where am I going? I think you left. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I guess I'm out here left. now. Well, hey, at least Look at that giant leave. sign with the chicken on it. But, so yeah, that will be... Oh, I had to upgrade my weapons anyway. It's a roundabout way to go do it, yeah. but... Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Soon. It, 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 it'll be really interesting, and, like, that's not to say, like, a uh, dumb character or anything like that, because I'm really excited to see, like, what they're going to do with the Inkling. Yeah, I mean, I was, honestly, I was honestly shocked that they were not part of Smash Wii U. Like, I know we got the, right. the Mii costume, the Mii costumes for them, and you better believe that, like, I pre-ordered the game I so I could get those. Right. But, like, at the same time, though, like, it felt like a cop-out. <laughs> like... Well, right, but that's the thing, like, I almost, like, I kind of grew to accept that, like, way, like, back then because of the fact that Smash Wii U and Splatoon kind of came out around the same ballpark. And, like, while they could have been DLC, yeah, I feel well, like that was more... Well, but here's the thing, here's the thing of it, though, is that, like, you. while I can understand that logic, that had, that did not stop them from... From making other from making other characters that literally weren't even in existence yet, um, like for example, mm -hmm. Greninja was literally put was literally planned to be put in the game from the start, and they had nothing to go off of except his concept art. Right. So, and the fact like they like and 
that kind of worked in their favor because like then his appearance in Smash Brothers cultivated his design in Pokemon. Right, and, right. Like but in both in both the game okay, and well, the anime. That and makes sense. So like that, But that's like another thing is that uh, and, and that's mainly what I'm going to be impressed with is that probably making the Inkling as a character would be really tough to design. Like, as far as... Because it is a shooter character. It's not a, like... And I, I'm going to imagine that, like, the guns and stuff like that are going to operate, like, kind of similarly to, like, the me shoot. Like, obviously not the exactly Doomfist the same. R- it's the Doomfist rule. A fighter yeah. character in a shooter game and a shooter in a... F- in a fighting game, does it really work? Yeah. Well, like I, I feel like, that the, I feel that they'll work. They'll probably like, hmm. um, oh. like I said, they'll probably <laughs> take some inspiration from like the Me Gunner. Yeah. In the sense that, like, uh, I would feel that they'll probably have some sort of like, or like honestly, it might. I would say it might be a little bit similar to a uh, Mega Man, because mm-hmm. like Mega Man didn't have. A standard like melee combo. He just could like it. make a few pellet shots. Right. He could shoot them lemons. Oh yeah. no. Um. So like. Oh. That is. So I feel that they might have something to do with that, but maybe it will like actually like pack a bit more of a punch to it. Yeah. Um. Oh no. The. Oh no. Like everything oh, else gosh. though, like from there though, like is a bit of a toss up because like. I'm sure, like the like, so the ink bomb will, will be a special move of some sort. Um, I don't yeah. like after that though. It's a toss up. Like the squid jump would be a recovery of some sort, but I have no idea how that would function. Mm-hmm. Other than just you know just being a really big jump. All right. Uh, but I feel that they wouldn't be that simple <laughs> with it. No. Um, yeah. And like you could like I guess you could like have them like utilize. They could maybe give them a like some combos the, that allow them to, like, you know, kind of, like, swap different weapons on the fly. No, right. Like, maybe... I, it, maybe we, yeah, go ahead. We one-on-one talked about transformation characters, but holy shit, could you imagine, like, pressing down B and changing weapons? Maybe. <laughs> like, honestly, I would feel, Like, honestly, Owie. I think that would be... Um, Owie. This is... Okay, so this is something that I, I haven't really talked... I haven't really talked about uh, on a podcast or anything, or in... Or in one of our... Our, our episodes that we've covered, like, Smash Brothers stuff before. But it's started to become more of a thing uh, in recent fighting games. And that's, like, the idea... Like, it happened particular Like, the particular instance I'm going to show is the uh, the addition of the Ninja Turtles uh, in Injustice 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, because in Injust- Injustice 2 has... The, ready. Has all of these, uh... Oh, boy, this is going to be interesting... Run! Scatter! Fuck you guys! <laughs> but, uh, so Injustice 2 has all these different characters in there. They, ha- they have several guest characters in there. Well, Ninja Turtles being one of them. Right, right. But, um, Injustice 2's, like, mechanics are that, like, the characters, like, every character, um, oh, no. has a basic moveset, and that they have equipment that, while changing, while might change the character aesthetically, like, what? give them a different appearance. It can also change their moves and stuff like that. And in the case of the Ninja Turtles, um, what they did is that the base form of the Ninja Turtles is playing majorly as Leonardo, and then he has uh, special moves that summon the other three turtles to do different things. Mm. But what they did is that they gave, they basically gave you the ability to unlock equipment that allows you to play directly as the other three turtles, and each turtle has its own unique moveset type right. to it that has different mechanics and things like that. Now, Smash Brothers has already tried the idea of doing some customizable stuff for characters in the form of customizable movesets. Mm-hmm. And while it was a cool idea, they didn't really it didn't really work the way that I think everybody expected it to. Um, but if they did something similar to that where rather than maybe having custom movesets, like like custom special moves that you can pick, if they have the ability for you to like to choose unlock which one you... variations of the same mm. character mm-hmm. that are focused around different things, no, right. that would be pretty sweet. Like for like to give like to give an example, like you can have like for the case of Link, since we saw Skyward Sword Link, 
you could have that, you know, be maybe like his new default variation. Okay. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Like, or Bre- Breath of the Wild, sorry. But, uh, no, yeah, I get you. Like, you, you get that, it? I feel like, could be a really cool thing of, like... And I know you're talking, like, mainly movesets and stuff like that, but, well, man, I'm hoping to see, like, uh, separate skins that are, like, different uh, well, that's characters what entirely. No, that's what I'm well, saying. Is that, like, rather than, you know, like... So, like, you know how we ha- we've had, like, the whole... Like, there's the whole clone character debacle. Yeah. Right? Trap. So, like, people, Trap. like... D- first off, clone characters are never, like, are never a bad thing because they're not... Like, contrary to pop- popular belief, they do not take away from development time for what would otherwise be a new character. It is making a character utilizing some previous assets to make a character that otherwise may have not had time to be put in the first place or was, you know, somehow similar to another character. Mm-hmm. Um, like, or in the case of, like, characters like Ganondorf, is like, we want to put Ganondorf wow. in the game, um, but he doesn't really have anything to go off of. So they took Captain Falcon's moveset and turned it into this beefy powerhouse kind of character, and that's what it went with. And he's like his his moves have slowly very like variated over time to be different from Captain Falcon with just more of an inspiration. Right. But um but like that like that's literally been done since like the granddaddy of all fighting games, Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. Like No, yeah, yeah, and that makes sense. And that's like Something I am really hoping to see, because I was thinking about it, especially with the Inklings, is that, well, it'd be cool because we could have, A, the boy and girl Inkling, but not only that, but, like, different costume, like, variants could be, like, the Inklings from one, or from two, like, the guy and girl, like, the guy with the jet back, or slick back hair, and the short-haired uh, ink- girl Inkling from uh, the cover art. Mm-hmm. But not only that, we could also have, like, really cool costume changes, like, maybe have, like, a fucking Octoling, like... Well, those are, like, those are, like, th- I think we're on different, pa- like, on different pages here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, like, I'm taking it a step back. I'm not saying, mm-hmm. like, I get what you're saying with, like, different Probably movesets some- uh, and stuff like that. Cause, like, but was- I'm saying, like... Ew, different cosmetics fuck? in general is something I'm looking forward to. And I know that it's tough because hitboxes, but... It's really not, though. Yeah, that's... Like, as, like, unless you're doing some huge, like, aesthetic changes. Like, I mean, for Christ's sake, going back to in- Injustice 2, Injustice 2 has made entire... <clears throat> has made entire uh, cosmetic skins for pre-existing characters... That turn them into other characters, right? Like from like like, and I'm talking drastic changes. Some mm-hmm. well, some of them are drastic, some of them are not. Like like for like Green Lantern, like Aww. the regular version of Green Lantern in that game is Hal Jordan. They have like, another. They have a skin that you can get that turns him into John oh Stewart. Gosh. They have one for Flash that turns him into uh, Zoom. Or mm-hmm. reverse flash. I don't know what they call it, call it in this in that like game, but the uh, they also have one that turns into Jay Garrett Flash. Right. But then they have ones that like go even a step further, where like they have one for uh, so Cheetah is in the game, and they have one that transforms her into Vixen. Hmm. Uh, and then another one where they had like they had Raiden, a uh, more combat wait. character who's a, who's a guest character for the game because Who the game's made Grace by Nether Realm. Guy? Wait, what? Who would win, Groose or this guy? It's <laughs> a good question. Uh, does Groose get his cannon? Neither yes, 1,000% he gets his neither mini they cannon. Neither they bump their heads into one another and they both pass out. Absolutely fuck you. Can't. <laughs> uh, Can't. Dad, why? Oh, no. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Just chill out. Uh, just I remember how to fight this guy. I remember I was the one that like, did that. I was going to say, yeah, you're the one that beat him. Just, yeah, you just have to keep, like, you have to dodge his attacks and just keep pelting him with ink. Don't be a fucker. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, trying to, like, kind of taking it back to Splatoon real quick. Well, not Splatoon, but at least Splatoon and Smash. Uh, I would like a speculation on uh, Final Smash. Uh, it Go will, for it'll it. definitely be a, a special weapon of some type. Don't be a dick. Uh, <laughs> if, if there, Dude! If Rainmaker! <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. Well, I mean, they could go that they could go that route. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what? Uh, it'll probably it, honestly, it would probably be really dependent on on whether or not they're like totally embracing like the Splatoon one like 
<laughs> representation rather than like Splatoon 1 and 2 as a whole. No, but okay, hear me out, hear me out. It's the Rainmaker, but it's Snake's final smash from Can Brawl. Can we maybe not do this? Oh, or like, you, like you're all of it. The Inkling I, super jumps back. I, I, I hate it. Like, don't get me wrong. That, that, that final smash is one of those ones where it's fun to use, but it's a pain in the ass for everyone else. Oh, yeah. And, and granted, like, a lot of final of smashes, like, a lot of final smashes are Fuck like me. that. But I don't think they want to intentionally make another one like that again. No, right, right. I'm, I'm just pulling. I would, legs, I would like. say honestly, if, if they were gonna do anything, uh, I think it's if cool. they're like I said, if I they're gonna, one. if they're, if oh, we're yeah. sticking to the Splatoon one stuff, oh, it's gonna be an ink strike. Let's just be like, it'll yeah, be an, an ink, ink strike, strike that you, be... that wow. it might even be one that like they make it so that way you, it's a little more fair by like bitch. leaving you on the stage. And they could right. pummel the crap out of you while you, like, pick the target for the ink strike. Mm-hmm. Kind of like what you could do, like, how it worked in the in the original game. No, right, right. That makes sense. But, no, going back just to further kind of elaborate on, on my point, is that, like, I like your, like, I agree with you, is that I do want more, like, detailed, like, uh, alternate costumes for, for these characters. Um... And I, I would even have a problem of, like, taking characters, like I said, that have similar, like, mechanics or movesets. How is he cleaning this ink? Um, and, Damn you, Buzz. And making them yeah. an alternate skin for a character. Like, for example, like, what they it's were originally so going... What they were originally going to do for Lucina was that Lucina was, that was originally gonna be... was just going to be just a skin for Marth. Yeah. Which I think is perfectly fine. And there are plenty of the people in the Smash community, particularly people who play Project M... Who, which has tons of custom skins that make characters look like other characters, and has a huge following, they're right. perfectly fine with that. That like just oh, because bro. the character was originally like, <laughs> oh, just because like the character was originally designed to be you know like Captain Falcon or something like that doesn't mean that he can't be somebody else you know right. or like we we've, we've seen that happen before. Like I mean hell like I voiced in a mod that makes Bowser Jr. look like Fawful from the Mario and Luigi games. No right, like, yeah. Like the, like that, like the the market that is cool. there for that. I like that. And uh, the fans are always like, no matter yeah. what, even if it's a move set for another character, fans of a particular character or franchise are gonna love playing as their character regardless of whether or not they have a unique move set to go with them. No, yeah. But like that being said, is that. And that, like, I'd probably go more into this, but I don't want to get into, like, uh, oh my gosh, someone's fucking blaring their music. Yeah, somebody's bass is, like, crazy. Yeah. I felt that in my chest. <laughs> uh, excuse me, guys. That was that was uncalled for. I had, uh, <laughs> I had tacos for lunch. It was really bad. <laughs> oh, wow. But, um, a fart joke. Yeah, I'm fucking mature as shit. But, um, yeah, no, like, I'd probably, like, I'd love to get more into this. Like, I just don't want to get into, like huge, like, uh, Smash Bros. meta talk kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know shit about Smash. I feel really alienated. Well, I'm sorry, but, like... No, I, I really don't. I, I'm just I, joking. I don't uh, give a shit. I'm trying to fight for my life over here. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I feel like I had a point when I was saying that. Like, I just, like, I wanted to say... Like, oh, like, like, a conversation <laughs> or something, but... Then Mr. Uh, Sir Farts a lot out there decided to crank his yeah. fucking bass. End it! But, <laughs> It's alright to, to get il- at least a little into like meta stuff as long as we're not like I don't, getting into I don't super think it matters. Detail. Like, like yeah, it's, 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 oh, right. I just like I want to try to like stay uh, since it's Splatoon centered well, I mean, theme. I mean, like, it, we're, we're talking about it in general, and right. like, I'm getting back to that. I'm, uh, what I'm saying is that I would like to talk more in depth about a lot of the stuff that has happened in an actual like low back podcast. But uh, you know, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, but listen, I, I'm trying, man, I'm trying. <laughs> but, no, like, to get back, like, to go back to the uh, the idea that I was trying to express is that I don't, I don't see that, like, while it may take more time, touch me. I would hope Punk? that, I would hope Punk. that, that Sakurai is paying attention to what has been working in the fighting game community mm-hmm. and realizing that stuff like that is absolutely okay and that people want that kind of stuff. Right. Because, and like, and you could like, yeah, you can make alternate costumes that make them look like, you know, 
the Inklings from Splatoon 2. You can make them look like Cali Marie. You can make them look like an Octarian. Like, there's a lot, like, there's a lot of potential for that stuff, but you could also go just as far as, like, instead of doing just, you know, simple variations on the basic special moves, Mm -hmm. even if you have to, like, even if they wanted to go the route of unlocking them, which is, you know, kind of becoming less and less of a thing. Can I just say something before we, like, Yeah, what's up? I... Hold on. It's the new it's the new Octoline DLC story mode. Mm-hmm. Pearl and Marina finally reveal themselves as agents, whatever the fuck. And I don't think and, they're, and, and, they're and, and they're like you're probably Six okay, okay, whatever. And you're probably wondering like they're like, "Oh, you're probably wondering how we got to this secret area." And Marina's like, "It's because I'm <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, like I can't fucking wait <laughs> for the big reveal and everyone's like <laughs> <laughs> It's because Ow. it's because I'm an agent. Friends with an Octarian. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Pearl's over the corner. No, don't do it. No, Marina, don't say it. No! Your secret, your, your secret. <laughs> Pearl just jumps in the way. It's because I'm an Octarian. <laughs> you know, you don't have to take the bullet. I am an Octarian! <laughs> But no, like I was like what I was trying to touch on was that like I I think it would be what? like it may take or? more development time and but I think everyone would be hap- would be happier for oh. it and the game would have more life. Oh, oh yeah. Uh if like they went like the route of like Injustice 2 and stuff like that where you had like not just like, you know, customizing certain aspects of a movie, cool. but being able to have I'm cool. a character that has multiple full move sets. Um, you don't necessarily have to go the full route of like Injustice 2 where like you tie it to equipment or you tie it or you have a system where you're minutely picking certain details. Like mm. you could absolutely just do it as you know like uh, like for the case of like the Splatoon characters like the base pl- like the, the base Splatoon the base Inkling character uh, focuses you know on like using like a like a shooter weapon, like that, like this, like just like a, right. Like your trusty Tentatech splatter shot. Yeah. Um. You didn't say it in the voice. But oh, yeah. Do you, you want me to? I figured I would spare you since we're I mean, talking about serious stuff. I was like, just kind of surprised. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Twisty Tentatech splatter shot. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> Always like kill me now. Honestly. <laughs> but uh. Excuse me. So. Excuse me. Would you like to hear about Pam? <laughs> <laughs> But they, uh, so you could have, that be, like, the base moveset, and then maybe, like, by, I don't know, like, you could have, like, I don't know, like, a level-up system, like, a lot of fighting games have, like, if you play with a character enough, like, oh, like, you, hard, yeah, like, like, Injustice like Street has that Fighter, right? or Injustice, like, literally any, like, more hard, like, hardcore, like, fighting game, like, right. has a system of, like, where you... If you play what? a character enough, like, you, like, rank up with that character and, and get, like, stuff like profile pictures and banners and stuff like that to use. Mm-hmm. But, like, in the case of, like, like Injustice 2 and stuff like that, Man, you, get, fall. you get gear and stuff for playing for the, I, with the I hope that enough. was worth it. Yeah. Um, so, like, you yeah. could, like, play, play with this? base inkling long enough and then get a, get a move set, oh. that, get, like, unlock a variation on their move set that focuses, yeah, I don't know, on using the roller and having a more, like, you know, big, meaty, like, melee hit what sort of character. That has, like, AoE splash damage. Right. Like, <clears throat> so, like, that I'm is... I'm not very good at the thing. You gotta you hold the button. So, like, that is, a uh, That is absolutely something that I, I know, think I'm could be done. Yeah. And it just takes me a second. It's mm-hmm. something that I hope for. I'm not going... Right. I'm not gonna... I wouldn't say right now that it's was, likely... Yeah, I was gonna say, I wouldn't, like, bank on that or anything, mm-hmm. but... Wait for, like, but six like, or... But, like, one no, of the it, things... I also know that Sakurai is always looking to do something Brawl. new. Or, not... Uh, for Smash, yeah. I thought we had the Splatoon thing. You talk about Splatoon things. Well, I, 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 I was tying... You know, I thought so, too. Well, I was tying, trying to tie this <laughs> into a discussion about the Inkling characters and how I hope It's that... a curse! It's a curse! We can never talk about Splatoon... No, <laughs> well, no, I'm, I was tying it into the spl- like the Splatoon like. The Listen, it's been half an hour. I know because we kept getting sidetracked <laughs> by you. Surprisingly, play- by Splatoon stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but because we're trying to talk about Splatoon, I know. I'm. Like, like, I also did. I did preface this at the beginning, saying that we would talk about anymore. other things too. So like, mm. 
Anyone who's still listening wasn't misled. <laughs> I feel misled as the person who's been listening. <laughs> but, uh, it, yeah, no, again, I wouldn't Stop I it. wouldn't bank on it because I know oh, that they're right. like, it, I don't think they want to make uh, Smash that Wait, am I complex. Just... What the f- I, 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 think yeah, that is... I don't remember being naked. I'm not just saying it has to be that detailed, but I feel they could ah! take ins- oh. I feel they could take inspiration from those kinds of mechanics mm-hmm. and make something Two, that fits in the Smash three. formula. Yeah, <laughs> because I know Sakurai is like always trying to like he always wants to try to make Smash stand out for something that it has no! not done before. Mm-hmm. Like that's why like like Brawl was all about you know like getting like the big finisher moves with the final smashes. Right, and then you know like. Fuck it. And Smash Wii U and 3DS ah! seem, seem to be this thing of of making the game faster paced, but also like just being the most like <laughs> rock and roster for oh, a fighting yeah. for a fighting game to date. Like it, it felt like a celebration. It but, is, yeah. But yeah, it, uh Ow! Oh my god. <laughs> Trick shot at you. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> But yeah, it's like one, when you uh, kill someone with Symmetra's orb when you're just spamming. Yeah. I got there, there was uh, one other thing that I thought, like, I had this, like, funny thought a little while ago, and I kind of wanted to bring it back up, mm-hmm. is that, um, A, I hope that the next Smash does uh, some kind of story mode, like, akin to yes, subspace. Yes, please. But, Ow. B, you know how subspace had, like, oh, shit, uh... This is it bosses and shit like you fought Rayquaza yeah they fought like like, other like characters from like Nintendo franchises that weren't necessarily like you know like fighter worthy yeah uh huh uh so I'm ready to kick the shit out of Octavio in Smash Bros in Smash Bros Bros, right (laughs) yeah I was thinking the same thing and I don't know if it would be you would literally go up and fight him like face to face or if you like have to oh my god I would would, would, oh my god well, I feel it would be just like, I would feel it would be just if you would like have any, to uh, like punch his punches back and then fight him or some shit. Why well, I, I don't see why you couldn't. Do, well, I don't see why you couldn't do both. You know, like like I feel that like uh, I feel like the subspace emissaries like arcade like sort of fighting like fighting mechanics for the story mode where like bosses have a health bar. Yeah, uh, is fine. Uh, I don't really see any other way of doing that. Um, oh yeah, no, oh, and I'm like, this gun? I'm just saying, like, but the, I, both I, would be hella. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't necessarily think you need to make it so that way you can always do damage that way. I was just saying, give him his punching attacks and make it so that way if you, if you like, like if you do him. damage to them fast enough, like you'll reflect them back. Yeah. Um. And certain characters obviously will have a harder time of doing that than others, but like, that's part of the fun. Oh yeah, and especially if you're like going with. Uh, like, uh, how Subspace Emissary worked to where they would originally give you fixed characters. Like, it'd mm-hmm. be really interesting to have a couple of characters who do have, like, shooter or, like shooter attacks. Like, yeah. maybe Samus has to fight him or something. Well, like, he, like, yeah, that would be, that would be interesting. And, like, that's something that, like, I hope for this one, too, is that I, like, the, the reason, apparently, oh, like, that. some, <laughs> like, the big reason, apparently, that Sakurai said that, like, we didn't get a big story mode like this was that he apparently was disappointed with how fast the story was, like, leaked onto the internet and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, like, that's, that's gonna happen you. with literally everything. Yeah. Like, no matter what you do. So, like, but, like, and they also, like, a lot, also, there were apparently, like, people, like, a lot of people complain that, like, Subspace Emissary's story is confusing, which it is. It is. But, yeah. but here's the thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I'm not <laughs> playing Subspace Emissary for an in-depth story. I'm playing I it so I can see Sonic and Mario standing side by side facing the God of Destruction. And like, I feel that <laughs> like I feel like to, to to smash Wii U and 3DS's credit, I feel that all of the effort that would have went into a story mode went into the reveal trailers, mm. which were fan fucking tastic. Oh yeah. Like I every don't single wanna. like every single one of them w- was amazing in their own in their own special little way. Mm. Um so like, I don't have a problem. Well yeah, no, like a fucking <laughs> I was like fucking oh my god, it's just a bounce party. But I was like almost like I was fucking impressed as shit and almost like surprised with like how much like 
that went into each like yeah, the, story the amount trailer. of budget and stuff like that that went into the character reveal trailers. Yeah, but yeah, like, like I I never thought I'd see like Link uh, fucking animated in anime form. Oh, yeah, like oh. the Palutena's thing where like you have like Link. Where Link and uh, Pit were fighting. Yeah, Link and Pit are fighting, and like what was another like the Duck Hut one was really great. You know where they had all the char- like they had all the characters in like eight bit form. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And even like just simple ones like with like Cloud and Bayonetta, where it's just like it was just a a a nice solid trailer in the style of like their game. You mm-hmm. know, like. But yeah, it it looks it'll be it'll well, be really no! interesting to see that. Oh god, all the you have, I'm, you have forfeited all those onion rings. But yeah, and I am really happy to see that they kind of like kept that Fine, if everyone's just gonna fuck me up. That tradition of really cool trailers that like have notched their game because man that Oh yeah they, that was so there was sweet. No, there was no way that they, they could have fuck it. like not done no. that for for this. For yeah the inklings like that I'm, was I'm so I'm trying to speed run to this see. anyway like I'm just trying to get the fucking armor. So like if that I'm is just checking to see if it's Yeah no worries. But yeah that's something mm-hmm. that I uh oh that I would love to see come back because like yeah like the, the story mode was not like the like the most cohesive story in the world, but like oh, the shit. story was there, you know. Like it was nice. Like the Smash Brothers characters kind of all live in this like shared like universe that is like not that is like nothing and everything Whoa. at the same time, Whoa. which is fine for Whoa. Smash Brothers. Yeah. Um, Whoa. Big bad Whoa. dude comes and starts trying Whoa. starts trying to take over Whoa. the universe. Whoa. Uh, well, the, like, well, I should say, like, the villain, like, villain, Whoa! God! <laughs> villain characters are trying to control, are trying to, like, are trying to, like, take over people, and then it's revealed that, like, that, like, there's a big bad trying to take over the universe, and, like, all the characters come, like, join up to fight. Like, you all right there? <laughs> Allie's dying. I'm watching Allie slowly descent into madness. <laughs> But yeah, I'm ready to see HD cutscenes of these characters Absolutely. like teaming up and duking things. Like, and especially, especially after the reveal trailer for like the count. Inklings. Like, fucking, I'm hyped as shit. Also, Connor gets super angry at me whenever I yell, even though he has a show called Time to Scream. Well, it's not that. It's just like speaking in different Double conversations standard? and being distracted, and then just suddenly this is the scream while right next to me. Oh. How much I can. Do about this! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Stop, Stop it. shooting me! <laughs> oh. Sad day. I should have just ran, but I don't want to like. Risk but it. Uh, mm. so here, so here's another. Uh, here's one other thing that will tie into the Splatoon characters. Mm. What do you think is going to be the Splatoon stage for Smash Brothers? Oh Cam man! Triggerfish. Cam Triggerfish. <laughs> <laughs> That is a crowd favorite. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be fucking a uh, skate. Uh, skate park. Skate I have not heard like kelp. Uh, not it's not kelp dome. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a classic. It's, it was no, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it? called. Uh, what is it called? Crap. Black Belly Skate Park. Yeah. Uh, I, that would be a good choice. I haven't heard please. that one. Oh. Please, God, Jesus no. Almighty! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have not heard that one specifically. Um. The two things that I've been seeing getting tossed around a lot are either a um, are either a stage focusing specifically on Inkopolis Square. I think I can imagine. Um, Square. Or like kind of doing a thing like. Are we uh, gonna get Villager again? That's the real question. Well, I'm sure we will. I would I would think that for this game because of how beloved the roster for Smash Four is. Uh, they're going to try to get. They're going to try to get every single character back in this game. Yeah. Because the fact that it seems that like full de- like full focus development for the 3DS is done and over with. Mm-hmm. Like the the they, the direct showed off a couple of games that were coming out, but like all of the games that they announced were either stuff that had already been previously been announced a long time ago, what? and the stuff that's new is either are either. Stuff that originated on the 3DS or their ports. Yeah. Like, and the stuff that originated on the 3DS is indie title stuff. I'm so tired of this goddamn level. 
But yeah, no, it, like... I'm not even gonna get the thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see, like... Oh my gosh. Oh no, I'm, I'm scatterbrained right now, but... So yeah, I, I think I think they'll try to get every single like Nintendo <laughs> character that was already in there, and I wouldn't be shocked if they try to pull every guest character back too. Like, oh yeah, like I, I'm sure I'm sure <clears throat> because they have such good partnerships with those, these companies. I'm sure Pac-Man, Mega Man, and Sonic are are all shoe ins to come back. Oh yeah, um, this was harder than the Ninja Guy. Um, I like that was always one of the things is that, um, and I doubt that this is like gonna be oh it's the final smash because people say that for literally every smash that has ever come out is that Mm -hmm. oh it's the final one why would they say that because because sakurai always says that it is yeah (laughs) because he treats like and to be fair it's because of how he treats these games because that's why he puts so much effort into him to the point where it stresses him out Mm -hmm. is because he wants to make sure that these games are so good that if it is ends up being the last one that it will be you know beloved you know And pretty much every game was like that. Maybe with the exception of Brawl, but that was because there were just some weird choices. Maybe Brawl. Brawl is not a bad Smash Brothers game, hmm. but it's. Pro- I would say it's probably it's the only one I've played. Yeah, it's like it's like short of maybe like Smash sixty four, which oh. obviously you know yeah. is the 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 benchmark for everything. Yeah. I'm not like uh, especially because it was following up melee, like a lot of people were disappointed by it. But honestly, like playing Brawl, I could see how like Brawl was great. Like, like he could be satisfied with that. Like mm-hmm. yeah, given the time frame there was that a lot of yeah. lot of love put into it. Mm-hmm. Um Whoa, but that, I have the high ground. But uh yeah no that's the thing, especially with like each one like it, like, I don't want to say it's going to be the last Smash, because I don't know that shit. I don't know what it's going to be. But, like... And I know, like, people say that for literally every Smash that's come mm-hmm. out. You are, you fucker. But, like... I, like... It's hard for me to foresee what the next, like... Because I don't know what Nintendo is going to do after the Switch. <gasps> so, like, the Switch is not going to be the end of the all for Nintendo, but at the moment, I don't know how they're going to, like... Give me the fucking well, they're, fish! Like, they are, Give me the fucking... They are putting a lot of effort into the Switch, because, like... Yeah. Uh, I think it was Forbes that, in, like, that was interviewing oh uh, one of their, like, investors. Or, mm-hmm. one of the, like, was that one of their investors' meetings? Mm-hmm. And they were at... Like, they asked, uh, asked if, like, they were going to make some sort of, like, you know, like... Switch 2.0, similar to how, like, you know, the PS4 has the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One has the Xbox One Just X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they specifically stated that they are not going to do anything like that, that they're focusing on software uh, and peripherals, mm-hmm. uh, which uh. I think is perfectly fine. Um, oh, yeah. Whether or not peripherals, I don't know what they necessarily mean by peripherals. Like, I mean, obviously, we have Nintendo Labo. Um. um I don't remember how to... Yeah, you gotta shoot at the other one. That one's just gonna pull you straight up. If you wanna try to go across, you need to hit Oh, that, that makes one. sense. Okay, yeah. I forgot how these work. I thought it was like a... Yeah, no, you that shoot was like a, a I think that one, I think for those, you have to throw a bomb at them because it's too far away. No, you, uh, well, you can use the charger. You could use the charger, too, That's but I'm just saying... But, uh... Yeah, no, like... That's the thing, is that, like... I've always envisioned, and I know, like, I'm not, to avoid the I'm not the big, like, fucking head honcho final word or anything like that, obviously. I'm just some guy. Wee. But, like, I've always imagined that, like, um. the last Smash is gonna be a huge, like, shebang that brings, Wee. like, everyone, well, like, brings everyone back and shit like that. And, like, you mentioned it already that, like, it's a possibility for a lot of characters to even come back, like, for example, Ice Climbers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And that's, like, the main reason why I didn't think this would be the, like, I that don't think 4 this would be the, the final I'm one. I'm sorry! I, was, I never thought that, like, that Smash 4 was gonna be the final Smash Bros. I don't know what to right. say. Uh, yeah, I, ne- I never considered that, like, ever. I don't know what to um, say. I don't know what to do. But, but uh, yeah, no, like... That's the thing, is that I feel like uh, whatever the one coming out for the Switch is, I feel like they're going to be pulling out all the stops for it. And like, I'm very excited. Yeah. Like I said, like, I I, I think like, mm-hmm. I am the camp. A, I th- okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm in the camp right now that this is going to be a brand new Smash Brothers game that, will, like that will probably take some heavy influence from Smash 4. 
but will definitely have There's have stuff to stand on its own merits. Here, I'm just checking. Okay. Oh yeah, nah, and that's like, I, I'm kind of in the same boat that like it's looking like it takes some influence. Uh, but yeah, nah, it it could kind of go either way about what it's gonna do if it's gonna be like a. Uh, Sort of, I guess, remake for lack of a better word, or mm-hmm. if it's gonna be like Are a we sure whole it's new thing. Nights tonight? It is definitely. It tonight. is tonight. It's actually going on right now, so what? I kind of want you... to try and tie this up. Yeah, we can wrap but, this up. Like, I, I'm trying to like bring it back to Splatoon somehow, and it's mm. really, it's, I'm running out of strings. Well, I've, I've got, <laughs> I've got something I can, I can wrap this up with here. Okay. Uh, so, I guess before we go here, let's. Uh, do we have any sort oh. of? Uh, expectations for the story mode like anything that you think might get revealed or marina's an octoling (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's it (laughs) honestly i think my i think my idea was much is much more likely (laughs) the pearl admits she's an octoling or or just like that like when when like they say how they got here that like marina's like well yeah um i have a friend who's an an octoling yeah I actually didn't get to use this one when we did the oh, yeah, game yeah, yeah. night. I, I thought it was a hold it down to shoot thing. I like, it's very balanced. No, yeah. I like it. I, I kind of wish there was like an Overwatch hero that kind of had that had like mechanic. A, like yeah, a charge a, a and then... chain gun kind of thing going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I... But, um... Yeah, no, as far as like things I want, like... I don't know, I'm really interested in, I guess, like, a lot of Octoling story. Because I just kind of want to know so much about what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I know, right? Politics. And it's one of those things that, like, especially with this coming out, like, obviously I'm, like, back into, like, wanting to write more Splatoon Trio shit at this point. Because I'm like, fuck, fuck, it's time for a Reef story arc. Make Coral one of those half Octolings 2K. Oh my god. Uh, well, that's the thing. We'll see. She adopted. Like, we can do anything. We'll, we'll see how it, like, that's the main thing is, like, I want to, but at the same time, it's like, fuck, man. Gotta wait until the fucking DLC comes no, out. No, fuck you. Mm. No, fuck you. I, My I, canon no, now. Look yeah. at me. I'm the writer now. <laughs> I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I would like to know, um why um like what like i know that like that like part of the reason like why the inklings the octarians like are at like war quote unquote is like this this energy debacle with like the zap fish and stuff like that but i want to know what caused it yeah like, i want to know why like not only why is there oh, like oh, like why was wait, there a dispute about he, it he fell yep oh, he fine. also city me yeah. But like, what I want to. Yeah, Hello, would, down there. Yeah, it's the Octoling City. They just chilling. I don't know about you, but this is place. actually real fucking pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I'd would live here. I yeah, for real. But yeah, I, like, I want to know, so uh, know why the I want to know why the Octarians like like not only why like why was there a fight over the stuff, but like why are they like underground now? Like, oh, hello. And. Also, like, what caught, like, I know that, like, you know, like, Marina's, like, supposed to be a representation do. of, like, them getting I'm integrated back in. Tonight. But, like, why are they, uh, like, how? Like, how did that come to happen, too? You know, like, what did it come as really it's acceptable for, for okay. Octarians to be out uh, in the surface, you know? Like, I don't remember this level. Right. Yeah, no, I'm, like, I'm ready for You don't for remember that. this level because I played it. No, I played it. And you were really pissed about it. Why? No, that's what I'm saying is that... I thought I played this one. I definitely played no, one of the Splatling ones. You, you played levels. one of the Splatling ones, but I played the first one, and Goodbye, you were world. pissed about it. Oh, yeah, because I, I got it, and I was I like, just yeah. just played a Charger. Yeah, you just played a Charger level. Honestly, I don't want to deal. <laughs> Makes sense. It's all right. I can do about, like, one a day. Hmm. But, yeah. It's not like it's bad, it's just frustrating so i mean i guess to use different oh yeah weapons. it's a good it's oh Bye. it's a nice way of like, restricting <laughs> you on what you can do but mm-hmm. um as far like commit suicide i don't know as far as like anything else i'd like to see oh shit 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 whoa we gotta hold up uh 
as far as it, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm sorry, I didn't think this would be cast. happening. I guess uh, we'll we'll see you guys in some other future video. The spot that's name is this. We are about to get all philosophical up in this. Which do you think came first, the chicken or the egg? Obviously, the chicken had to come first because who else could have laid the egg? But where did the chicken come from? An egg, which means the egg came first. Okay, boom. Why does that egg even exist? That's right, a chicken! I know! Why don't we just go ask a chicken? Oh, wait. The chicken is still in the egg! It's too bad. Maybe we can ask the egg's mom instead. <laughs> hmm. Who's the egg's mom? Oh, right! It's a flippin' chicken! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet that mom chicken has wanted kids ever since she was an egg. This is the worst... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those grandma laid the egg uh, that had the mom inside. Wait, which side am I on? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we're all living in a simulation and free will is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Stares into the camera. <laughs> the matrix breaks. <laughs> this spot this terminal will pick the side you're programmed to choose. <laughs> Play the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia credits theme. Yeah. <laughs>